Bonjour les amis. Wait, wait, wait. The channel has not changed. We still produce content for UGC net exams. But today, I'm in French mood. Friends, when you hear of France, I feel tower comes to your mind, romance comes to your mind. But do you know something else that France has given us? Please don't say French fries. They are not even made in France. Okay, okay. No suspense. Hello friends, how are you? Today I bring for you five most important French writers that you must study to crack UGC net exam. These five writers have always been a part of UGC net exam papers and therefore it is very important for every net aspirant to go through them. So let's start. Friends, the first writer is Gustave Flaubert, a very French name indeed. This guy started writing at a very very young age. He wrote a marvelous book called Madame Bovary. Madame Bovary is a story of Emma Bovary, a doctor's wife, whose passions and romantic notions drive her to start an affair, an extramarital affair, to accumulate debts, entangle herself in lies, and finally in the end to commit suicide. What upset the public most about Flaubert's novel was that no point did he take sides or condemn the protagonist's actions. With Madame Bovary, Flaubert created one of the first truly modern novels and created some of the most innovative narrative forms of 20th century. In fact, you won't believe that there's a movie based on this story in Bollywood. Yes, Apna Bollywood and Shah Rukh Khan acted in this movie. The movie is called Maya Memes Out. Friends, if you are someone who are preparing for UGC net exam, then don't forget to read Madame Bovary as this is one of the most frequently asked texts in UGC net exam. The second important French writer is Honoré de Balzac. It's a little difficult to pronounce his name, but we'll manage. So this guy is associated with realism, a literary movement, which means his books, his stories and characters were a true representation to the society. Friends, a very interesting fact now. Balzac's female characters were all in their 30s and 40s, dressed beautifully and they were extremely passionate about love. Imagine Vidya Balan in the dirty picture, just like that. That kind of colourful female character. In fact, any woman who is dressed vibrantly and is in her 30s or 40s and is very passionate about love, you can easily see that she is the woman of Balzac's age. Friends, there are three very important works of Balzac that you need to remember for your exams. The first one is called Father Goryat. If you want to remember this work, remember Bhagwan, Amitabh Bachchan's. The story is very similar. Now you can guess what other literary work is this Father Goryat inspired from. Yes, you guessed it right. It is our very own King Lear written by William Shakespeare. The next work is called The Human Comedy. It's a series of 90 novels, all interlinked. Wow! To make 90 interlinked novels is a tough task. But this is exactly what makes this French writer marvelous. Friends, his third important work is called The Magic Skin. In this story, there's a man who has a magic skin, which can fulfill all his desires. Very similar to our childhood TV series Shakalaka Boom Boom, where Sanju had a magic pencil. So that was all about Gustave Flaubert and Honor de Balzac. Now let's move on to the third writer who is Albert Camus. Friends, he is associated with the theatre of absurd. Now this guy had a very very different philosophy, where everyone was trying to find a meaning in life, according to him, Life is supposed to be enjoyed in chaos, in absurdity, randomness. He said that if we try to find meaning in everything, we will get stressed. And he illustrated this beautifully using the famous myth of Sisyphus. As per the myth, there used to be a king called Sisyphus. He was punished by gods. His punishment was that he had to push a very large rock up the hill. Now every day Sisyphus used to do that. But every time he used to go down, the rock would also go downhill. For centuries, writers said that Sisyphus was extremely unhappy. He was in a miserable state since he had to do the same task again and again. Put the rock up and then uh, it goes down again, put it up and it goes down. But it was Kamu who suggested that no, Sisyphus is instead a hero. 
he is happy. Sisyphus is happy. That was the discovery of Kamu. Friends, Kamu has written three very important works. The Stranger, The Plague and the other work is called The Exile. A lot of times in UGC net exam, they will give you names of these works and they will ask you to select which writer has written them. So it's good to remember the names and the writer who wrote it. Now we move on to the next writer who is Emile Zola. He was the man to look up to, a kind of personality you want to salute or shake hands with. Friends, before I tell you why I am praising this man so much, remember that Zola was associated with a literary movement called naturalism. Now let me tell you an instance where this man showed his values and principles. There was this scandal that happened during his time called Defris Affair. A very innocent military officer named Alfred Defris was wrongly jailed. Now Zola along with the writers was an activist, a true Krantikari. What he did was he wrote an open letter in the newspaper. The letter was called J Accuse. And guess what? This open letter created so much sensation in the media that this innocent military officer was finally released. What a man guys, what a man. Before we move on to the next writer, also remember that Zola wrote a very important literary piece called Germinal. Now friends, we move on to the last French writer whose name is Eugene Inesco. He is also associated with Theatre of Absurd just like Albert Camus. He wrote three important works. The first one is called Amity or How to Get Rid of It. Please remember that the subtitle is very important and it was asked in UGC net exam. The other two works of Inesco include Rhinoceros and Macbeth. Sounds familiar? Yes, you got it right. It is inspired from Shakespeare's Macbeth. And I know that you must be wondering that how are these two related? The answer is that Macbeth was a satire on Shakespeare's Macbeth. And phew, I didn't even realize that this quick literary capsule about the five most important French writers and works comes to an end. Friends, if you want detailed information about these writers, you can join my UGC Net online course available on my website arpatakarva.com. We also have a very special mock test series for UGC Net English aspirants where we provide you with 75 plus unit wise and chapter wise mock tests that will boost your confidence on the day of the exam. I've mentioned all the details about these courses in the description box below so don't forget to check that out. If you want me to make any more videos on any other topic, please comment down below and I promise I will bring the best on the table. You can also become a part of my WhatsApp broadcast list. I share all the important videos, updates, questions and study tips with the WhatsApp community members. So that's it from my side for this lecture. We will meet soon in the next video lecture. Till the time we meet next, happy learning, keep loving literature and stay tuned to arpatakarva.com.